So Three Alliance does a lot. Uh, they, they vet candidates, they do candidate training, they do an awesome job, and they, they do it out of a labor of love. All right, so now I want to introduce uh, a good friend of mine, Skip Murphy. He's the, the co-founder of the Granite Rock. One of the only places in America you can get real news. Dominating the political bandwidth of New Hampshire. Skip Murphy and editor Steve McDonald are awesome individuals. They are true American patriots. It is an honor that they have allowed me to write on their site to share my thoughts and concerns, which hopefully many of you have read. It is with extreme honor and pleasure that I am about to present to Skip Murphy and Steve McDonald, who's not here, I have one in the, in the box, an award for Skip Murphy, Granite Rock, for your dedication to reporting the truth since 2006. <laughs> if it weren't for people like Skip Murphy and Steve McDonald, this country would be lost by now. Thank you very much. He had to pick a day like this. I wait all summer for February. <laughs> and I will tell you, Ken has been one of the most cool, level-headed, quiet people, smartest people that I have ever known. I like Ken version 2.0. You? <laughs> You knew what was coming. The bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. The bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. Come on. It's hot, but you can say it louder. The bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. So what are you going to do about it? A, a lot of you, and I am excited to see the level of activism in New Hampshire, climbing like a rocket. We have been around, as Ken said, since 2006, and it started off as a hobby. It went to something more serious, and now it's gone to an obsession. We fight for freedom and liberty using the printed word. That is our mission. The second thing we try to do, based on the U.S. and New Hampshire Constitution, is to annoy people that aren't. You people are the third thing. We are trying to weaponize Granite Rock to have you folks go over that tipping edge and to say, I'm not sitting on the couch anymore. <laughs> Give yourselves a round of applause, folks, because I'm seeing a lot of you doing that. But the work is not done. We are at a tipping point, and it's very close to that edge. Only by the work of ordinary folks like you who finally said, I am not going to have to sit there, as Reagan said, and tell my grandchildren what I didn't do when they were trying to take freedom away from me. Here's what I did. This is the results. The bigger the government, the smaller the citizen. Just remember this, too. It works the opposite direction. The, the bigger the citizen, the smaller the government. How small are you willing to make it? One person who ran for U.S. Senate years ago said, I want to tie the bureaucracy up into a burlap bag, tie a good knot on it, and throw it into the bathtub. Are you folks willing to do that, to restore our founder's vision of limited government and maximal individual liberty. In the ocean. Yeah. Thank you very much. GraniteRock.com. Thank you.
Crop TV.